Today I've got some napkin DIYs from Dollar Tree. Keep watching! I'm Brandy, and this is Making It My Own DIYs. For project number one, we are going to be using this package of napkins, and we are also going to use the same package for all of these. I'm going to use a couple of signs, a bank that I got from Dollar Tree. So it's the house sign, the one with the beads. I also have a a um, summer sign that we'll be using after a while. We're going to start with the little house and we're going to just press down on this and it will pop right out. It is covered with a paper so you want to be sure that you clean that off of the back of your house. and Scrape it off and then if you gently scrape you can get the paper off without having to paint the bottom. So it's like there's a print on the top and like a papery backing and I was able to save that so that I don't have to worry about painting and waiting for the paint to dry. But you can take yours completely off and just paint it with some white chalk paint, dry it, and it'll be perfect. So I scraped a little too hard here. I got a little spot, but I'm going to show you how to fix that. Just take an acrylic paint marker or paint pen, dot it on there. And then I'm going to take a napkin and just blot it off. And that covers it up nicely. And the reason we want to do that is because you'll be able to see through this one ply of napkin. We do separate these two ply napkins into one ply. We have less wrinkle in that way. So that's the way we're going to do it. I'm going to use a glue stick here and put this all the way on here. A nice full coverage so that it will adhere down flat. You can use Mod Podge or something else if you would like, but you got to be really careful because the napkins are so fragile that they will tear. So just keep that in mind if you're going to use Mod Podge or like um, a school glue for this. I'm going to gently place it down where I want it and then pat it down. Again, this is really, really thin. I'm going to use my little Mod Podge roller here and just Make sure that I press out any wrinkles or bubbles that might be in there. Inevitably, there are going to be some projects where you just get some bubbles, lines, or wrinkles, and that's okay too. So you can pull your edges off like this, or you can just take a sanding block, I get mine at Dollar Tree, and just sand those down. And it gives it a nice, clean edge like it was painted on here. And that's the look, the look that I, I'm kind of going for. See with that nice white backing? It makes those beautiful colors of this napkin really pop. And I chose the popsicles because of summer, but you can choose any, any napkins that you would like and apply that to any of these projects. I'm gonna use some hot glue and flip that down on the back, put it right back in its original place and press it down. You can paint the edge of the box if you would like. You can embellish it with stickers or whatever you would like. I'm going to make a little bow to go in the top. I just feel like it needs a little extra something up there. It's kind of cutesy. It's not the look for everybody, but like I've said before, I like to give you options and then you can do whatever you want to do with yours. This is just for inspiration. So this is a little simple shoelace bow. I bump the camera. And then I'm just going to trim those tails down where they won't be in the way of our little popsicles. There's some really pretty summer napkins out right now. They have some that are fruit also, like watermelons and lemons, all kinds of pretty ones. But you can think further into the season for fall. You can use fall napkins for these projects and just change up your colors a little bit. And that would be fine too. This is an easy way to take $1.25 package of napkins and make a lot of decor. We're going to get five pieces and then there's actually more that you could do with this. So I decided once looking at this from all angles like you know we do that I wanted to add something extra on the outside. So I could have painted it but I have this ribbon that fits almost perfectly. I had to just take a little bit off of the edge and then it was a perfect fit for the outside of this. And it almost looks like we painted it plaid. So whatever colors, if you like this, whatever colors that are going to coordinate with your napkin, you can use to put on the outside of your little house. Just going to use a little bit of glue here. 
and put this ribbon down. I only glue it on the bottom when I started it and at the end. So I just kind of pull it tightly so that it won't slip around. Hold it in place and glue it down. And this would be easy to remove at another time if I wanted to use this box again for something. Another money saving tip. For project number two. We're gonna use this little fall sign and we're gonna start by taking it apart. We're gonna take the back off. Just use those little prongs to remove it. And then I'm gonna take these beads off because I'm gonna use something else. So you can pull them off with pliers or your hands. I start to try to get the paper off here with this little tool that I use all the time. But then I realized it can pretty much be pulled off by hand. But I couldn't get it all the way off. So here's another option. Grab your chalk paint, just go right over the top of it. You don't wanna be there all day long trying to peel it and then let it dry. So I decided I wanna paint the outside and I'm gonna use some of this orange, this pumpkin chalk paint. Using chalk paint because it dries fast, but see, there's orange in there and I think that will look cute. So if you like a little more color in your summer decor and you don't wanna leave everything just a wood finish, you can use chalk paint on here. I did use two coats. I went on the inside and the outside as well as you're seeing so that it's nice and finished. Then I'm gonna take my napkin. I'm gonna tear the edge so I can separate my plies. I wanted to show y'all how to do that because it's really not that difficult. And then see how I wanna place it. Again with the glue stick, gonna give it nice, good coverage. And then I'm going to find my placement and then press it down. I'm not rubbing it right there with my hand because I don't want anything to come off. So just gently placing it and then I'm gonna use the roller. If you make a mess up on this and you tear it when you're trying to clean it up or trying to press it down, while that glue stick is still wet, you can pull that off of there. I've done that before. So you can pull your edges off, or again, you can use a little sanding block and go around the edges. That just really pops on that white. I love that. And then this orange looks really nice with it. Very summery, I think. Maybe this could go on a back porch if you have a pool party, it would be really cute. So I'm gonna take a variety of beads. These are just thrifted, but you can get beads at Dollar Tree in all different colors. And I decided I wanted to make a little pattern with these plastic and wooden beads. The little teal or the uh, aqua beads here, those are actually plastic. But the other ones are wood. I'm gonna slip it on this yellow and white twine, Baker's twine that I got from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to, to tie a few knots. Now the type of knot you make is not important as long as it is a fat enough knot that your bead won't slide off of it, just like that. And you can secure it with a little bit of glue if you would like. Now you don't need to see me do the whole thing, but you see here I have a pattern blue, pink, and white. Once you get to the end and you have as many as you would like, tie it off. I'm gonna add some hot glue right into this bead because it's a bigger diameter. And I just know that knot's gonna slip. And so here's my little strand of beads. And I'm going to put my colorful beads back on this sign. You could also paint the beads you already have if you wanted to use those. I'm just gonna put them aside for another project because I know I will be using those in another project on another day. So I'm gonna use some hot glue. I'm just gonna kind of put these back in a similar position as to where they were in the first place and then cut off the excess. And this is what that little sign will look like. You could even hang this off your back door heading out to your patio. That would be cute. Project number three. So I'm going to take these napkins actually folded over, have a print on all four sides. So you get four pictures out of one napkin. So that's even better. I'm gonna lay these down here on this poster board. And I think I wanna cut these down a little bit more so I don't have a lot of excess to work with. And I know I don't want the words on the bottom. So I'm just gonna cut those off. It doesn't matter how neatly you cut these out because we're gonna be cutting them again shortly and you want enough to glue. 
So I'm gonna trim down what I don't need, put it aside and save it. I'm gonna move these down. I'm gonna trim off a little bit more that I'm not gonna need. And then I am going to put glue all over this piece of poster board. I wanna make these thicker. So we're almost gonna make them like appliques. I'm gonna put them down here onto our glue sticked area and press them down. And I also use my little drying tool to try to get them dried a little bit quicker. That purple goes away and turns clear, so no worries. I took the other ply from the napkins and I'm just gently patting and rubbing out any little rough areas on here because I don't want these to be wrinkled. These are going to be used and I want them to be pretty for the sign we're gonna use them on. So I'm gonna just trim it down to make it more manageable and I'm going to cut out the popsicles now. I have some little scissors here. They are my little Arteza scissors. And I like to use small scissors when working on these projects. So grab up your small scissors or go get your kids or your grandkids scissors when you're cutting little things like this because it makes it so much easier to go around those curves and circles and get those cut out. For now, I'm gonna leave those little popsicle sticks on there but I will be cutting them off. So if you wanna cut yours off, you can go ahead and do it at this point. You know, it's another one of those things when you get in a project and you're not sure exactly what direction you're going in. That's kind of how it was on this one. So I'm gonna use this sign from Dollar Tree, but you can use any rectangle sign. I wanna make it white without painting it. If you don't have paint, here's an option for you. Take that same poster board and just trim it off. I'm laying it on there to see how much I need. I'm using my rotary blade, cutting it off. Now I have the perfect covering for it. So you can use a glue stick, hot glue, tape, whatever you wanna to use to affix this down onto your poster board. I am just going to use the same glue stick. It is a jumbo glue stick. And it's gonna work for all these projects for me. I guess you could Mod Podge it too if you wanted to, or use school glue. I press it down really nicely. Do the same thing here. I'm rolling it out to make sure that there's no little spots in there that's not stuck down. I don't want any gaps or bubbles. I don't want it to fall apart. So you're going to take like little wood embellishments. You're going to take sticker letters. You're going to use poster board stickers, whatever you want to use. I'm going to use these to spell out sweet summer. This is the same wording that was on the bottom of the napkin in the first place, but I decided I wanted to do it with wood. Okay, so now we're gonna take popsicle sticks and we're gonna give these popsicles a popsicle stick. Yep, I'm just gonna trim these down so I get them the right size. I'm cutting about mm, maybe a little over an inch off the end. Now is the time I'm going to curve out and cut off those popsicle sticks that are drawn on. I'm gonna take those off and after that's all done, we're going to just use a little hot glue and put them on a stick. Isn't that perfect? Yep. I think all of these coordinate nicely together. They all have that same theme. You can use the small ones on tiered trays. You can use this big one as a sign somewhere else. Really easy. This would be cute for party planning too. You know, get napkins and do your little party favors. If you wanna see lots of inspirational, budget-friendly DIYs, be sure you subscribe to this channel. I would love to have you, and it is totally free to subscribe. All right, look at those little popsicles. They're so cute. Okay, so now I know I want to paint my letters. I'm going to take some of this wonderful paint here. This is a coordinating color. You can use whatever you want. See how it scoots around? I decided to use a dot of glue to hold my letters down. And then look at this. Look how rough you can be. And then it just peels off of there whenever you're done. So I'm going to paint all of my letters this color. I am going to let them dry. I'm going to use my little drying tool, my little heat gun. And then I can just add Sweet Summer to the top like this. Or... I decided, how about use a little bit of this beautiful polka dot ribbon. I don't know why, but polka dots just remind me of the summer. It always has, maybe it's the polka dot bikini song. Y'all know that song? Yeah, maybe that's what it is. 
So I'm just going to take some of this Dollar Tree ribbon and I'm just going to wrap it around the sign and then squish that glue into the ribbon so that it stays down. Just using a spatula here. Use whatever you like. Protect your fingers though because it's really hot. And then I'm going to put my letters back down on here, making sure they're spaced how I like them. And while they're laying there, I'm just going to pick one up at a time so that I don't lose my placement and start tacking down those letters. Y'all, I have merch now. I do. I'm so excited. Be sure you follow me on my social media. Okay. Now, here we go. Finishing up sweet. And this is almost done. You can use a piece of scrapbook paper. You don't have to use anything. You can paint a stripe up there if you would like. However you want to do it. Just a bunch of ideas for you. This is all about inspiring you to make it your own. There's no wrong in crafting. Y'all know that. I say it all the time and it, it really is true. If it brings you joy, then it's perfect. All right. I am spacing out my popsicles to see how I want them on here. And then after I get them where I like them, I'm just going to use that ruler to keep my spacing right from the bottom so I don't have a crazy looking line. If I don't use some type of a guide, I have a tendency for my line to kind of go upward or downward, but definitely it is not straight. I'm just going to add it to the stick and press on the stick because I don't want to push down my popsicle. I want to keep it having that little bit of elevation. So just doing it on the stick and then you can see that. I decided to do a little bit of dry brushing of some of this white chalk paint over the top of the blue just to make it look a little more, I don't know, I like the look of it. A little more aged, I guess. Pretty much in the summertime, anything goes, right? Look at that. That is so cute. This just is, this is cutesy. This is little girl cutesy to me. See the dimension? You can see how they're raised there. A lot of dimension. I like it. Depth and dimension, as we like to say. Now, we're just going to put the sign that was on the side of the sign. We're just going to put that on the top of the sign now. Going to use the same string. And I'm just using the little scraps of popsicle sticks to hold them in place because I didn't have any paper. And it works perfectly. It's a cute little sign, isn't it? Really cute. Now for project number four. We're going to take this little bank and remove the backing. I bought this a while back, but I'm still seeing it in my store every time I go in. It's just a piece of paper. We're going to take it off since the glass won't come out. I'm trying to decide, is it in the front or the back? Well, it's on the inside. The print is right there. So I'm going to take my scraper here and gently gently scrape this away. You can use Goo Gone. You can use fingernail polish remover. You can use whatever you would like, but I didn't want any of that substance making a nasty mess on the sides of my little bank here. So this was the best option. I'm going to use an alcohol wipe and just clean up the front. And then on the inside, I'm going to clean that up as well. And those little black pieces go everywhere. It's not vinyl, it's something else, like it's chipped fingernail polish, and it's, it took me a while to get it all out. Going back to that poster board scrap, I'm going to trace out the square so that we know we have exactly the right size to go on the inside. So this is what it's going to be, trimmed all out. And once we get our little square, that's going to be perfect. We're going to divide our napkins, plies. And see how it fits nicely on there? Pretty much all of the signs, um, any of the ones that you choose are going to fit. Maybe even the picture frames that are 4 by 4s maybe. I don't know. They may be too small. Don't quote me on that. Okay, so this time we're going to leave the word in there. I'm going to decide where I want it. I can pull slightly before I press it down. And then I'm going to roll it out. I know I've showed this in every one, but it's just very important to get a high-end look, to really think of those extra things that you can do to make it look like it's painted on there, 
rather than a napkin glued to something. I mean, that's not what we're trying to achieve, right? We're not trying to let everybody in who sees our products or our designs go, oh, that's a napkin. Isn't that clever? Well, I don't anyway. I might tell somebody that, but I don't want them to just automatically know it. I want it to look like it's painted. And doesn't that look painted? I think so. All right, so I'm getting some double stick tape here. I found mine at Dollar Tree. You can get yours there. And I'm just going to tack down little pieces here and there in the corners. And that'll be enough to hold this to the backing of the bank. So again, finding the placement and then pressing it down. It's got a really good hold too. You don't wanna be lifting it up afterwards. So get it right the first time, right? All right, gonna lock it back into place. And this is what it looks like. If you like it like this, you could certainly give it to your children, let them put some summer money in there. Maybe the ice cream truck comes, so they need a little, little extra money. They can put it in there. Or you can use it for a piece of decor, which is what I'm going to do. And just add in some beads that are the same color, maybe that you used in your other project. Put it in there. You could use beads, you could use little um, table scatter balls. You could use uh, little miniature erasers if you found them in fruit or popsicle type shapes. That would be really cute too. And now I've got a little shaker box. And it just gives it a little extra something, I think. It gives you an option. This would be cute on a tiered tray if you have a tall tiered tray. But you could put it anywhere. Project number five. All right, now we're gonna paint a mason jar. So, I had this jar. I'm gonna cut down my napkin. I don't want the sweet summer on there, and for the size of this jar, it just wouldn't fit. Now I'm gonna trim it down, take off any excess that I don't need, because we're gonna be working on a curved surface, surface, and you have a little bit different issues to work with. In order to make that background pop on that napkin, we're going to have to give it something white to be against. So I'm using my chalk paint here. I'm painting all over the jar. I'm going to dry it in between coats and give it two coats. Once it is dry, this is how it looks. And then I'm going to decide which side of the jar I want it on, and I'm gonna use the side that doesn't have any bumps on it. You can get jars at Dollar Tree that have a design if you would like, but I don't want that on my jar, not for this project. So I'm just gonna go down here, now that I've looked at it for sure, trim off anything extra that I don't wanna have to deal with. And then decide how I wanna place it. I'm gonna use some matte Mod Podge because I'm using chalk paint, paint which is matte. I'm gonna add some to the top and take my brush and just rub that all over. I love a flat brush. That's just my favorite, but you can use a sponge brush, anything you would like. I wouldn't rub this on for too long because I don't know if it, at some point that it could possibly lift your paint. I don't know, but I'm not taking chances. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna give myself more work than I have to. So I'm going to take this and place it down. Carefully. And you really gotta be careful here. Because again, this is Mod Podge now, so this is making that napkin wet. It will peel and tear so quickly. You really gotta be careful. And I'm just gonna pat it down where I like it. I'm gonna cut here because we're going around curves. And you won't notice your edges on here once you're done. I'm gonna take the same brush that I was just using with the same paint that was already on there, just to tap down my edges. And then I can add some more, go over the edges here, and then after all the edges are down, I'm going to go ahead and go across the middle and all the way around the jar to lock this into place. I'm using my drying tool, my little heat gun here, to dry it. It really makes projects easier when you can make that paint and everything dry faster. I want to embellish my little popsicles here, so you can find these little sticker pads at Dollar Tree. Mine actually came from my daughter. 
she used this for her planning in college and she had some stuff left over so I'm gonna take some of these motivational stickers here and I'm gonna put them down on my jar and I'm gonna put them one on each of the popsicles so at first you'll see me just lay them on I'm not really pushing them down because I want to make sure it's it's what I want and that I like them where they are and then I can get them centered and right where I need them to be the right height and everything rub those on well and then I mean really push them down well and then get your Mod Podge on your brush and go over your stickers and this will lock this in to the same layer that your napkin is on and everything will stay nice and tight and smooth and not peeling off now I've got some glitter ribbon because I thought what am I gonna do to the jar ring I don't like that non lid look so I'm gonna cut some of this off they have beautiful colors with the same glittery there's it's really thick um, and it has like a paper backing it's a little too wide though for the jar lid ring whatever <laughs> so I'm gonna trim it down we can modify things can't we I do this to ribbons all the time so we can do it on stickers too. make it what we need okay so I'm gonna peel my backing off and then place it down on my jar so that the ends meet in the back I don't want those ends meeting in the front of my jar I don't want to see that seam so I'm just gonna wrap it around there you could use this jar as a bank you could use this jar to put your paint brushes in your pens you could use it on your desk you could put makeup brushes in it you could do on a bucket list you know you could do a bucket list for this jar just be creative what would you use a jar like this for here are our projects together we got five projects out of just a few napkins isn't that crazy I believe in you and I know you can do this you can always find napkins if not at the Dollar Tree you can definitely find them in other places Dollar General has nice things you know get some stuff on clearance after the season put them back for the next year if you got space really save your money but make some really cute seasonal pieces for pennies I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel I promise I'm always gonna strive to bring you the best budget-friendly DIYs that my little heart can pump out and my little brain can figure thank you so very much for stopping by and I'll see you again soon bye